So today we will be solving one more problem from linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So we have this in front of us d square plus 4 operating on y equals to cos 2x. Looks like an easy problem. Let's see how it is. First thing will be to find your complementary function and for finding complementary function we will need what is called auxiliary equation. Finding auxiliary equation is very simple just replace capital D by M. So you get M square plus 4 and equate this bracket to 0. So from here you are getting M square equals to minus 4 or M equals to plus minus 2 iota. Fine. So in case roots are imaginary then how we find the complementary function because you can write uh, this like this 0 plus 2 iota taking plus sign and 0 minus 2 iota if I take plus minus sign so if you can compare this to a plus iota b and a minus iota b so in that case your complementary function is of the form e power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx if I compare it to a plus minus b i now as you can see a here is 0 so e power 0x Constant I am taking as C1, C2 here. So C1 cos B here is 2. So 2x plus C2 sin 2x. E power 0x is 1. Your complementary function is C1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. This is your complement. What about the particular integral? Particular integral is 1 upon f of d. What is f of d? d square plus 4 and this will operate on the RHS. RHS is cos 2x. Now whenever the RHS is of the form cos AX or sin AX, what we do, we just replace D square by minus of A square and check whether by this replacement denominator is non-zero or not. If it is equal to zero, then we multiply by 1x outside and differentiate. So if I put 2 here, you can clearly see minus 4 because d square will be replaced by minus of 2 square and plus 4. So this is becoming 0. So what I will do in the next step, I will multiply by 1x but outside the operator. This 1 upon this d square plus 4. This is looking like an acting as an operator. So outside this operator. And differentiate. So if you differentiate d square with respect to d, you will get 2d. 4 derivative is 0. And cos 2x as it is. Again apply. Same thing. But d square is not there. So how we can apply? You can do two things from here. Either you can create d square by multiplying numerator and num denominator by d. Or 1 by d is nothing but integral. Okay, so your particular integral will be x by 2 integral because everything is uh, coming in terms of x so integral with respect to x will be. So pi will be x by 2 integral of cos is sine and we will have to divide by extra 2 because we don't have cos x we have cos 2x. Coefficient of x is 2. So we will have to divide by 2. 
fine so this is pi is x sine 2x divided by final solution is y equals to cf plus pi so your cf was c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x and your pi is 1 by 4 x sin 2x so this is your final answer y equals to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus 1 by 4 x sin 2x again it was very simple first find auxiliary equation from there on because uh, the roots were imaginary to find the complementary function like this and then particular integral because denominator was becoming 0 we multiply by 1x differentiate the denominator and 1 by d is similar as integral and we proceeded and we finally got y equals to cf plus p so you can uh, find large number of problem in the playlist ordinary differential equation so go and watch that out thanks again